Yes, student. Welcome again. Our today's topic, second part of drug acting on depression, that is antidepressant drug. In this our today's video, we are going to see the mechanism of action of the second class of a drug, that is a reuptake. So, how the drugs are producing its effect by avoiding inhibiting the reuptake of some neurotransmitter. So, let's start with this. So, before starting with once again, just we will revise it, how this uh, physiology of depression is there and what happened when we are going to take. So if you see in healthy synapses, you could understand, you could feel that these vesicles releases, these neurotransmitters and these neurotransmitters are available in quite sufficient quantity, available in quite sufficient quantity. And as they are get bonding with the receptors and produces further their action, even though some enzymes are present, but they are produces its effect normally. What happened when the patient is in a depression? What happened when patient is in a depression? If you see, only the limited quantity of neurotransmitter is get released in this synaptic area. And as this is a lacuna, as this is a deficiency of these neurotransmitters, the patient get a effect that we call as in a depression. If you see, the quantity of dopamine, serotonin is quite decreased. And this is the reason why there is a depression. And what is the, this is the cause of the depression. Then what is the treatment for the depression? The treatment for the depression is try to maintain the sufficient level of the serotonin and dopamine and other neurotransmitters released at the brain. Once these are get releases at sufficient level, then the patient goes shifted from depressed condition to the healthy condition. This is the basic phenomena behind that. In last lecture, we had seen the mechanism of action of the mono amino oxidase inhibitor, how they produce its action. And today we are going to see the effect about the tricyclic antidepressant. What are these tricyclic antidepressant and how does they produce their action? This diagram also gives on one of the very wonderful action like this. They are mostly most widely used as antidepressant drug. What is the mechanism of action? The mechanism of action is very simple. These are drugs which inhibit the reuptake of noradrenaline or serotonin or higher drug C tryptamine in the nerve terminal. This is the most important phenomena. That is the inhibit reuptake phenomena. And this drug increases, and because of that, this drug increases the availability of these neurotransmitters near the receptor and potentiate the energetic, adrenergic action. That is one of the very important thing. If you see this diagram, you will get it more idea about it. This is a nerve, and this is a terminal of this nerve. This is a synapse. In this synapse, this from this vesicle, some neurotransmitter like serotonin, dopamine, surrogate release. And as we already seen in one of the last video, that whatever the extra amount of neurotransmitters are get released at the synapse, some are get removed from there, some are get reuptake. Remove means some are get meta metabolized from this microexamism and some are get reuptake again in a nerve ending, in a nerve. So this is the mechanism, uh, normal mechanism of the neurotransmitters. But in depression condition, the quantity of neurotransmitters available in synapse is very less. Why? Because of the microorganism metabolism. And second thing is the reuptake. Second is in a reuptake. What does this, what does this? Tricyclic antidepressant, this tricyclic antidepressant inhibit reuptake. Here is release, release, they are open for the release, but they are block the reuptake of the serotonin. As they avoid the reuptake, definitely the sufficient quantity of these neurotransmitters are available in the at the site of the nerve terminal. 
this is the main intention which helpful for increasing the quantity of the dopamine as well as the serotonin this is the best mechanism that we want to see and as there increases definitely there is a decrease in a effect of depression that the patient gets shifted from depression to the normal phase so this is what about the mechanism of action of tricyclic antidepressant when this tricyclic antidepressants are administered they produces their pharmacological action usually we are going to see the pharmacological action in measure three parts one is in central nervous system so overall what are the effect of this tricyclic antidepressant on central nervous system that we are going to see in normal it produces clumpy feeling tiredness light headache or sleepiness difficulty in concentration and thinking unsteady gait there might be no mood elevation mood elevation is possible after near about 2 to 3 weeks of the treatment continuously then patient become more communicative once it is the start of the treatment near about after 2 to 3 weeks the patient become more talkative the patient takes interest in his life as well as in surrounding night waking is get reduced sufficient sleep he is getting for the sufficient sleep sedative property varies among the different components there is a variability the lower sin seizure threshold and produces conversion at higher doses if we increase the dose then definitely increase in the activity of noradrenaline epinephrine like exciting neurotransmitters and because of that there is a possibility of convulsions in high doses this is with about the central nervous system with autonomic nervous system it produces a specific effect that is it has an important anticholinergic effect it has an important anticholinergic effect so with respect to the cholinergic system one of the very important and very uh, prominent effect that is in a dryness of the mouth second thing is a blood vision constipation urinary hesitancy these are the side effect because of it has an anticholinergic effect that is nothing but near about same as that of the atropine what are its effect on cardiovascular system the effects on cardiovascular are prominent occurs at therapeutic concentration and may dangerous in overdose like tachycardia postural hypotension cardiac arrhythmia can be noticed when the patient is having a higher dose or overdose as well as the tolerance to the cardiovascular and autonomic server autonomic nervous system affects can be gradually developed though the antidepressant action is sustained this is one of the reported thing that we could have understood the next one is that what are its possible side effect that possible side effect like urinary incontinence constipation as he has an ability to eating a lot and because of that it has an weight gain so the effects are like dryness of the mouth bad taste constipation epigastric distress urinary retention blurred vision palpitation sometimes sedation confusion weakness increase in appetite weight gain sweating postural hypotension cardiac arrhythmia hypersensitivity reaction that might be with some patient it is get reported then what are its therapeutic application at a dose near about uh, 50 to 100 mg per day could could be used for this or 75 to 300 mg per day for the maintenance and with the amitriptyline it is a 10 to 25 mg per day is its a normal dose so with this normal dose its therapeutic applications are mainly used in treatment of the mental depression in some forms of neuralgia neuro neuralgia that is a pain in nerve that called as a neuralgias in nocturnal aneurysis in children it could be preferred so these are the therapeutic application and dose of the tricyclic antidepressant particularly amitriptyline or imipramine 
then one of the very important thing that we are going to discuss with this point is what are the possible drug interaction so what is this interaction majorly what is the effect of this drug these drugs are associated with decrease in metabolic activity of the enzyme and due to decrease in a metabolic activity of enzyme the some drugs like razor pain leodopa pethidine barbiturate these drugs are need to be under control under supervision it is one of the very important thing along with this these drugs are also having a most important interaction with the food this is one of the with related to that this is one of the very important point that is a uh, under give reason it many times it could ask why cheese fish banana is avoided while the patient is on a mao therapy or mono amino oxidase therapy give reason for the give reason this is a, one of the very famous question many times it could ask for that or uh, sometimes for the drug interaction for the question under question number 3 it is get covered so in uh, it is helpful for at both question number 3 as well as the question number 6 so what is the reason that we could avoid this the first one is the certain food ingredient as certain food substances of uh, cheese beer wine pickle meat fish yeast etc or banana contains large quantity of tyramine and dopa tyramine and dopa so what are these tyramine and dopa the tyramine and dopa these are the precursors of the biogenic amines or the catecholamines these are the precursor initial content initial material for the manufacturing of this catecholamines or some biogenic amines thus large amount of nor adrenaline is formed because these are containing large amount of tyramine and dopa so this precursor is available in large quantity so body is ready to prepare large quantity of catecholamines and some other biogenic amines as these are prepared in huge quantity large quantity the substance like cheese banana are taken by the patient treated with mao inhibitor large amount of noradrenaline is formed and its inactivation is prevented its inactivation is prevented by the mono amino oxidase inhibitor usually it is the defense mechanism of body is one of the wonderful mechanism of the body whatever the extra amount of the contents are get prepared by the body it immediately get metabolized by those enzymes or get reuptake for the further reformulation or reconstruction or recycling purposes and the needed quantity of the hormones needed quantity of neurotransmitters are used for the further mechanism of action but here what happen we already the patient already given mono amino oxidase inhibitor that is the this mitochondrial enzyme is get inhibited due to the inhibition of mitochondrial enzyme the inactivation of excess large amount of prepared excess amount of prepared neurotransmitter catecholamines are not metabolized not inactivated which results in adrenergic activity is increased and as the adrenergic activity is increased it is a very critically condition producing related to a cardiovascular system like hypotension or sometimes hemorrhage due to the increase in the cardiac activity so these are the some things which are happened why because of the large amount of precursors are available hence the substances like banana cheese chocolate are contraindicated when the patient is on a mao inhibitor this is one of the very important and most important concept for the uh, anti depressant drugs particularly mono amino oxidase inhibitor and for exam point of view also this is one of the very important content so try to prepare this and try to just understand once you get understand immediately you will get idea yes it is helpful for both purposes in give reason as well as second in a drug of choice as well as in a contraindication it will helpful for in question number 3 also so this is what about our this chapter what we had seen 
with this chapter that is what you mean by depression what is the treatment for the depression it is anti depression what are the different classes of anti depression drug what are the different mechanism of anti depression what are the different pharmacological actions of anti depression drugs and what are the possible adverse effect of this anti depression drug and lastly we had seen that is what is the uh, give reason interaction that is the the why there are some drugs are giving interactions why there are some drugs are need to taper their dose because of the mao inhibitor as well as the patient who is on a mao inhibitor needs to reduce the in the consumption of some foods containing tyramine as well as the dopa like cheese chocolate banana fish etc so this is what about the chapter anti depression so apart from this if you need anything let me know i am trying to clear you as much as possible thanks for listening me and try to comment your feedback about this lecture thank you very much thank you